This is Bill from woodfiredpizza.org, making bread today and reviewing the Como Fitibus 21 home grain mill that we got from fgpizza.com. This beautiful mill is made in Germany with a real stone grinding wheel and beechwood cabinetry. It is compact and slightly smaller than my coffee maker. Today I'll be making one loaf from hard white wheat berries as seen on the top and another from hard red wheat berries on the bottom. The mill adjusts from coarse, which makes a cracked wheat like bulgur, to fine like talcum powder. I chose a medium fine grind for this recipe. For each country loaf I'll be using 150 grams of whole wheat along with 350 grams of high gluten bread flour. The grain goes in the beechwood hopper and is then ground in about a minute. The mill is surprisingly quiet and a joy to use. For each loaf in this recipe, I mix 100 grams of sourdough starter with 375 grams of water. Add the flours to make a rough dough. Wait one hour before adding 12 grams of salt. After mixing and forming the loaves, I bake them in a Dutch oven. More information about my bread technique is available at woodfiredpizza.org. The fresh taste and texture of the final bread is great. Nutrition is also improved as whole grain flours lose considerable nutrition within three days of milling. I've had some unfortunate experiences purchasing older, rancid, or bitter whole wheat flour from grocery stores. With a home mill like this one, I know the fragile germ and germ oil of the wheat berry are as fresh as can be. Wheat berries can be stored in a pantry for a year or even longer in the freezer. Freezing the berries also eliminates the problem of heating the flour that can occur with a high-speed mill like this one. Another thing I love about milling my own grain is the variety of grains that are available at my local health food store that are not usually found as flours. Hard white wheat is much milder in flavor than hard red wheat and yet every bit as nutritious. Spelt wheat is surprisingly sweet and never bitter. I find I can make a 50% spelt or hard white wheat bread that tastes like a 30% red wheat flour bread. I've also started experimenting with flax, spelt, and triticale breads as well. A mill like this is an investment in nutrition, taste, and the art of home baking.